Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be um, having a look at our top bar hives, or this one in particular. I haven't actually checked these hives all year. Um, we had a swarm, and that's all I did was put a swarm in. I haven't checked out any of our hives, so um, something I keep meaning to do, but I just want some honey now. I want a bit of uh, fresh honey, so we'll uh, have a go and see what a mess they've made of uh, the top piles. When I first got bees, I used to um, sugar dust them because that was the more friendly thing to do rather than upset them with smoke, with smoke supposedly. Uh, but as I've got gone on, the bees have got more aggressive. Uh, they seem to produce more honey, and um, they uh, they don't take to the to the sugar dusting as, as well as they do the smoke. They don't it doesn't calm them as much as it used to, but they've, these are like survival bees because I don't treat them with stuff, I don't keep treating them, they get left alone. If they don't um, survive, they don't survive. But the next generation that comes along might be stronger than the last and be able to withstand any varroa or anything like that. When I, when I first got bees, I was, I dusted them for varroa um, and things like that and now I just leave them, they just get on with it. Um, and. Um, I've witnessed um, bees in the wild, been a tree surgeon, we've come across trees that have actually got wild honey bees in and if they can do it there's, 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 something, there's something going on that is right so I, I've just left them, left them to it um, and I don't take too much honey, I just take a little bit so that might be something that people do, perhaps they take too much and then they feed them on sugar syrup um, the rest of the time but I'm not doing it commercially so I just, uh, I just want a bit for the family and, and, and I'm happy with that. You never know what it's going to be like when you go into some. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're, they're happy uh, and sometimes they're real miserable and they chase you down the land. I've been stung when I've not been anywhere near them before because they, I've been using a rotavator somewhere else and they just didn't like it. Uh, you know a lot of people would frown upon that would say well that's um, you know you should kill the queen and get some friendly ones but no, and all the while they're looking after themselves, I'm going to leave them to it. They can, you know, I've just got to stay, stay a bit clearer from some days. Every beekeeper's got his own methods of light in these and what they use. Some people like to use like dry bits of willow and stuff like that. They're meant to be a light smoke. I use Amazon boxes because <laughs> so that's what I've got loads of. All the stuff you end up buying on Amazon. And... You know, I'm sure there is a difference in the smoke. Sometimes it's a bit, but um, Amazon box seems as good as anything. So it's a very full looking hive. I'm not sure. I don't even know if they had that much space in there because I've got like separators in the hive. <laughs> So report back, so hopefully they'll go and report back and say, you know, they're going to eat a load of honey, get fat so they don't sting so much, so give them a little bit, I don't like to give them too much, so I just want to get a balance between how much they give them really. They're buzzing away in there anyway. Oh yeah, what a mess, they needed more room. start pulling some of these out and having a look but they're basically full of bees in here um, <coughs> just this quarter of it though because I haven't given them enough room I've got a back box separating them from the rest of it I haven't got around to giving them more room so we'll have a look see if we've got any honey in there and we'll just definitely give them a bit more space these are pretty calm at the moment see that they're even on, on the backboard now so I just didn't get to anything in time 
And then we've got the mess that has happened in here that's no doubt going to be. Instead of these bars coming out nice and neat, we're going to have them all stuck together. Take a look at that honey that's on there. That's quite, it's not filled though. Okay. Okay. Right, we've just lost, so it's all coming apart. The way they built that, not in a straight line, completely just goes into separate parts, that's a bit of a nightmare. I don't want to be getting bees in the bucket, so I'm going to put this little bit in there. This is more of a sort out job, this is not, um, this is not the ideal. That's a shame, that fell off because that was built so uselessly. Um, Well, to start with that, I'm going to try and prop that up either side and put a bar over the top of that fallen part and then they'll hopefully make something up to reach it. But it's not a good thing. God, I don't think there's a single bit of this hive that's laid, been laid right. Just goes straight. If you don't keep an eye on them, they just make a real mess of things. There's lots of honey there. It's just spread out all over the place with uh, brood in the middle of it. Yeah, you can see all that thick honey along there. Then we've got all this oh, brood in here. And it's all breaking apart, so I've got to put that back. It's a real heavy lump of honey, but it's a nuisance like that. Uh, let's just close them back up. Uh, put some more frames in, because the uh, bars in, because the, the back bar is quite straight. Put one in there. We can get, hopefully, a straight one out of this. Uh, well, what the what they're doing there? I think we need to start again. Really. Well, that's so it's full of honey. Okay, the one bit they did full of honey is on the board. We could perhaps get rid of that. That and uh, next hive along since we didn't hardly get we've got hardly any honey out of that one um, we'll uh, have a look at this there's very uh, very few bees in this one so uh, we'll have a have a little look and a giant spider oh. so this one's a, a lot better than the last one yeah, reasonably straight see there on the bottom where they've had queens uh, only a bit on the along the top though and then the rest is empty uh, so not not brilliant but this is see how old that comb is that brown cones old so That's just come away, so we'll just, it's still hanging, we'll put that back, they'll reattach that. This is all over the place as well, so there's not, um, 
there's nothing completely full that I want to take. You end up wasting a lot of um, cone. This is the worst it's been. This has not been a good year. It's, it's not been a good year, so I'll just smoke them to get them back down. To get back down a little. A little bit of smoke across the top to get them back down in there. Hive. So I don't squash them when I close them. These, these bigger bars, got slightly bigger bars on here. They're actually supposed to be for um, the honey. You want the smaller bars uh, for brood, and then but they never get the memo, these bees. They always lay it wherever they please. <sighs> so my war hives always seem to have more honey than the well, I suppose you'd call them Kenyan top bar hive. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I wanted to take a small amount of honey today from those um, top bars. I uh, didn't expect it to be quite as small as that. That was, you know, I'll show you what's in the bucket. There's not a lot there at all. Um, they've had a bad year, I think, this year. It was, it was very cold for a long time in the spring. And then, um, and then we had a fairly wet summer. And now that it's gone was pretty dry uh, for them to get about there's there's not a lot left in the fields it's um it's all going to seed now so it's a bit too late you know that that spring was just uh was just not good enough really um i've had much better years that's that's i think that's got to be the worst year in probably seven years i've never seen so little it was very sporadic it was like i don't know whether it was timing of when they get the honey in it was on every bar there's a bit at the top a little bit at the top a little bit at the top, all the way through rather than anything being towards the back you end up cutting and losing a load of a load of brood or comb um, I should try and take I, I took a bit of the stuff that was crooked in there um, to use um, and left some of the straighter stuff in there um, and put some bars between so they can try and follow if you get two straight bits of comb either side and then you put a bar in, generally they'll do that that one straight as well. But if it starts to go out, then it's a nightmare trying to get it to go straight again. It's just uh, neglect on my part, really. I just haven't got time to be messing about with it, so um, it's to be expected. But these these ones are usually quite good because you just take the, the top box off and what's in there is, is usually good. So m most years it's just been it's been um, it's been all right. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what it is this year. Well, I haven't really got time for it at the moment, so a little bit later on I should take some. Um, I just wanted a bit of a just wanted a little taste of honey, really, see what that's like. Uh, and there's a little taste. It's tiny. Get a spoonful for all that smoking of all my Amazon boxes. <laughs> Right, so yesterday evening we took some honey, a very small amount of honey because there wasn't um, a great deal there. So it's such a small amount, I'm not even going to bother straining it and putting it in a jar as, as honey to like, spread on toast. I'm just going to cut it up and have it on the comb to eat as a, as a treat. Uh, that's what I wanted, a bit of a taste of honey and that's just about what I'm going to get. So um, I'll, um, I've got to be quick because out here the bees are going to be turning up soon so as soon as i open the lid on this thing and chop, chuck it in here they're going to be they're going to be on it so uh, very quick look at that this is a treat you get bits of that honeycomb you're going to have more here than you actually think Hear a bee turning up now. <laughs> Get some of this fresh stuff. This is the real fresh stuff. Look at this. That honeycomb. 
was on the back, right at the back board. Um, completely useless for up against it like that. But look at the different colour. So what you do is you just... Mm. The mouth for a bit. I don't like eating the wax, even if even the fresh stuff, the really white stuff. But God, that's sweet. Look at that. Lovely. actually taste anywhere near as sweet. Very mild. I, like it. I prefer that than that. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and um, hopefully we'll see you again next time.